Hey everyone, Chris from Castle OS here, and in this video we're going to give an introduction to an overview of the Castle OS web app. The Castle OS web app is a responsive HTML5 web app that auto formats itself for any size display you're using. For instance, while this video is being recorded on a desktop size display, if I shrink this down to say a tablet or keep going down to a phone, it automatically adjusts the display in real time. So we have here in the top left the menu button and in the top right the system mode selection screen. The menu gives you the ability to navigate throughout the system. The top half under the main menu is fixed. These are your options no matter where you go. The bottom half is contextually aware of where you are in the system and will change the options available. Sometimes the options that show up here will also show up in other places. The system mode selection allows you to quickly tap and change from whatever mode you're currently in to one of the default system modes that says away, home, vacation, or custom modes that you may define. After login, you're brought to where we are currently, which is the portal screen. The portal screen has several tabs here. The Actives tab will show you any device that's currently powered on. It could be dimmed, it could be selected to a color like the hue lights you see here, it could be a ceiling fan that's running at a specific speed. If it's running, it will show here in the Active Devices. Your Favorites tab allows you to pre-select certain devices that you want to have quick access to, and likewise for groups or scenes that you have within the system. In many cases, you're going to have a lot of devices that you don't need quick access to. For instance, uh, slave devices for three-way and four-way light switches or sensors that run some of your automation. Rather than have the need to sort through all of those devices, you can pick the ones that you use most and pin them right here to your favorites tab. The climate tab will give you the quick access to your thermostats, climate sensors and the ability to adjust the thermostats. This is actually a Nest thermostat that I just tapped on and this will allow you to change the set points and the mode of that thermostat. The security tab gives you a instant readout of all of the security devices in your system such as the door locks you see here and the door and window sensors, garage doors, motion sensors but also includes things like glass break sensors, leak sensors and other such devices. The energy tab gives you a readout of your current energy usage as well as a 24-hour snapshot of your most recent energy usage. If I click on the button, you'll be brought to the full energy display, which we'll go to in a moment. The portal allows you to do most of what you need to do every time you use the system without ever having to leave it. But you do have the option to go into the system as needed. So let's go and explore some of the main menu options. The events screen allows you to see the events that you have loaded into the system. For instance, the example event, which we created in another one of these demonstration videos. It also allows you in a contextual menu to add or edit that event. The energy screen, as we mentioned, has many more reports available. These are great. You have hourly usage, daily usage, usage by device, usage by group, uh, the hourly breakdown, which instead of showing you running usage, will show you usage by hour, which is what we're looking at now. If we compare that to the hourly usage, you'll see the graph is a different style, which shows you your usage literally hour by hour. And likewise, you have breakdowns for daily and monthly. This is great for tracking trends, especially with busy families, when you're looking for where the energy is going to use at one time of day. The Devices screen gives you the full readout of all of the devices in your system. It is not tile based like you see in the portal. It offers all of the same features but in a more compact display. Next up we have the Scenes screen uh, which is similar to the Events screen in that it shows you the scenes currently loaded and allows you to edit them or by using the contextual menu add them if needed. You'll see this is the same chandelier blue scene that we created in another one of these videos. The climate and security screens are similar to what we saw in the portal and the settings are where we would go to configure 
this set this system. Uh, we'll have a separate video that breaks down each of these system settings so you can understand them uh, as well as how to configure the various drivers. Uh, that's it for the this overview. Uh, if you have any questions, please join us on the Castle OS forum. Uh, happy to answer them. Thank you.